So what is up? Hello everyone, my name is Maggie and this is another episode of RC Modify. In this episode I got you an Espresso Mid Motor Rear Wheel Drive K chassis kit. I also got a bunch of other parts for it. Got a motor, ESC, servo, gyro, transmitter and receiver. I've got some drip tires. And of course, the body. Got some other stuff. Before we get into putting all these parts together, I'm gonna remake the SCX10 Dodge Ram. I've been playing with it and it's not in a good shape right now. So I'm gonna make a new one. These are wheel wheels and I got some side mirrors and stuff. So yeah, I'm just gonna reuse all the lights and everything and pretty much gonna be the same, but um, I'm gonna add the steering wheel. I'm not gonna go into details. I'll just gonna do it quickly. I have made a front bar setup. Uh, it replaces this piece that was here. This will go in there instead. Yeah, and this can come off. Now I put holes on this one because I want to put lights on them. I also made the one without holes, so you can use that if you want to print them out. To lock this bar up, you have to use M1.2 screws. Okay guys, I put this on eBay, post it on Facebook, and now it is sold. So I'm gonna ship this real quick, and then we'll go back to the main project. And so yeah guys, now you can download Dark Dragon Ring 3D models on Thinkiverse. There will be more 3D models coming up, and so yeah. What will be in the next two videos? The next one will be a uh, Mad Max style. The next one after that will be a Nissan Bunny. And now let's get into this video. Okay, that is no instruction for me. They'll probably have it later on. This is still new and I'm gonna try my best to assemble it. I'm gonna start with the shocks.
Okay guys, there are two types of differential here. One is the completely locked differential and another one is normal differential that you will use this and these in there. But for this one, I'm just gonna lock it up with this one. So I don't really need all these. So it currently has no reverse because the ESC needs to be programmed. So I'm waiting for the program card right now. And I'm also waiting for the pinion gear. I'm just gonna go ahead and install other parts. It's time to work on the body. Magnet body post. I forgot to put on the gyro. On the back here, I'm experiencing the towers are too tall. I'm gonna take these off and then find a new way to mount them on. I got an idea for the back. I'll just use the one that I cut off. And then there are two threaded holes on here that I can just mount this right there. I'm gonna cut the grooves off. Exhaust, spoiler, spoiler brackets. I'm gonna cut this off. There are no light buckets, so I'm gonna make them. I have the front buckets and rear buckets designed so you guys can download them and print them out if you guys decided to use this body oh and um, there is instruction out now <laughs> because I got this card before the instruction was even made and so yeah there's a link to it I'm gonna go wash off the body And 
now it's time for the masking tape but they don't have the masking tape for the front lights and tail lights I have to put tape inside and then cut around the tape and peel off the excess It doesn't fit really well in the front, so I'm folding it up and then I'm gonna put some tape to make it perfect. And now it's time for painting. The body will be red color, the grill will be black. I'm gonna cover the inside up with the black one. I spray the black color inside. It is totally blocked out. You can't see through the body. If you have over spray, just use alcohol to wipe it off. Mesh holders. And then just put mounting tape right here. And here is the LED light. You know what? I'm gonna make 3D parts out of the exhaust. I got everything um, trimmed down. I put the button right here. Next is gonna be the stickers. I use balloon stick and then I cut it along the way on one side so that I can put the wires inside the balloon stick. I use some water to help uh, put on the sticker just so that it doesn't stick right away. Next is a spoiler. And lastly, the steering wheel. It's a universal kit, so it will fit all the bodies out there. And so yeah, it includes everything for you to be creative and try to mount it on your chassis or you can mount it on your body. I have ran into a problem. The steering is not um, turning the same way as the wheels. So I'm gonna move this to this gear.
and the pin in gear is finally here. I want more angle out of this so I'm gonna move um, the tie rods on the servo out more so that it has longer arm. Because it hits the body guys, so I'm gonna lift the body up just a little bit. I will do that by adding more magnets. No reverse yet because I'm still waiting for the program card. So if the program card arrived early, I will probably add that to this video. If not, then you won't see it. <laughs> And there you have it guys. A lot of things happened during the time I'm filming this video. Um, I put the steering wheel kit for sale, 10 kit. They are sold out and uh, I have to make more. And so yeah, I will see you in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed it and find this helpful. Thank you and have a nice day. Sorry, cup.
All right, guys, it doesn't work at all in my garage, but I just try it on the carpet. It actually drifts better on the carpet because it's more slippery. So yeah, if you play this on a rough surface, it would not slide for you. If you play it on a more slippery surface, it will work much better. One thing that I didn't tell you guys is I actually broke the gear right here. I over tightened it. So it broke and it doesn't hold on to the shaft. So I made a 3D printed part. I also made it a little bit bigger. And so yeah, as far as for the gyro, I actually have to change the direction and also change the type of the servo. I'm not sure if it's working because I never used this before. I'll show you right now. Here, I just turn it on. But once I turn on the remote, it actually doesn't work. Is it working while I'm drifting? I'm not so sure about this one. I think without a gyro is fine, you know, you just have to like practice a lot. And so yeah, let's go see this on a carpet and I will probably add some weight.
also I found out that I need 350 grams in the front. So I'm gonna remove this and put the weight right here and be done with this one. 